Hey, I'm Donna from the YouTube channel, Donna Did It. I'm a filmmaker, photographer, music producer, and most definitely an Apple computer lover. And specifically, I'm currently using a 16 inch MacBook Pro, but a lot of the time when I'm in my studio, I don't even use it as a laptop. With one cable connected from my MacBook to all my peripherals, it's so easy to use in clamshell mode as just the brains of the operation. So when I get in in the morning, I plug it in, it's staying charged, it's connected to my two monitors, my audio interface, my speakers, everything I need all from one cable. I go about my day, do all my admin, my filming, editing, color grading, audio work, whatever needs to get done. And then at the end of the day, if I'm going traveling, I just unplug my MacBook with that one cable and I bring it with me for an absolutely seamless experience for doing everything that I need to outside of the studio as well. And I never have any trouble with it connecting to the system. When I unplug it to take it home, it automatically sleeps. It's almost too easy. When I was setting up my studio, I knew I was going to want to orient my displays in a way that allowed me to keep my speakers a reasonable distance apart, which meant that the displays had to be on top of one another. At the time that I started to do it this way, I was worried that the setup might be a little bit tough to go through, but it turns out all you have to do is go to the display preferences in your system settings, click on arrange, and it'll bring up a window that allows you to literally drag the monitors in the orientation that you want them to be. So it literally took me like eight seconds to do the whole setup. And this is really the core of what I love about all the Macs that I've owned over the years. They just work exactly the way that I need them to, like an extension of my mind. And one of the most important parts of what I do is file organization. I deal with thousands of photos, videos, audio files. I personally find that the Finder interface makes it all so easy for me. I have a handful of favorites folders that make things super easy access, and the external SSD that holds all of my current projects is super organized, including some customized folder icons to make it more aesthetically pleasing. One thing that I love to do is create a template folder for each project that includes all of the subfolders that I might need. So it's called project template folders and within it we've got audio, video, photos, graphics, exports, and thumbnail folders all pre-made. So when I have a new project that I need to start, I'll just hold down option and drag the project template folder to wherever I want it to go, and it'll make a copy of that folder and its whole hierarchy. But the best part is that then I rename the main folder, whatever the name of the project is, copy that name, highlight all of the subfolders inside, right click and choose rename, and then choose add text, paste the project name in there, and choose to add it before the current folder name. And when I hit okay, all of the subfolders are now named according to that project too. The whole thing takes me like a few seconds to do. I know that file organization isn't necessarily the most exciting thing in the world, but the fact that this process is so smooth makes me so happy. And of course, beyond Finder, there's all the software available for Apple computers, which is just the best out there. And it runs so well, especially on the Apple Silicon chips. Funny enough, I don't actually keep a lot of my applications in my dock. My favorite way to launch them is with a keyboard shortcut to bring up the spotlight search. I believe it's normally supposed to be command space, but I had to customize it because command space was an important shortcut in another application that I use. So I hit control option command space and spotlight comes up. I usually type three or four letters of whatever software I want to launch and then I hit enter and it's opening. And when I do want to use the dock, I do something a little unusual with that too. I keep my dock on the left side of the screen because the way that I see it is that the display is wider than it is tall. So when the dock pops up on the left side, it's taking up a smaller percentage of the dimension that it's in. But also beyond that, I just found that when I'm editing videos, I do a lot of work down at the bottom area of the screen. So when the dock was down there, it popped up accidentally a lot more and got in my way. So I absolutely love that I can customize it by right clicking on the line on the dock, choose dock settings and change position position on screen to left side. I honestly don't know what I would do without my Mac at this point. It makes my life as a YouTuber, filmmaker, photographer, and music producer so easy and smooth, really just by working exactly how I need it to so that I can concentrate on being focused and creative. Again, my name is Donna from the YouTube channel Donna Did It. Thanks so much for watching.